guys, um, Tammy here. I am coming to you with a tutorial on how to make a, um, it's a die cut envelope and there is a tutorial, uh, Scrap the World has a tutorial on how to use these um, plastic folders that she got and then you decorate them and you can make your waterfall um, pages on the inside for die cuts. However, I don't have any of those plastic sleeves and I'm sure that um, I, not everybody does so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this envelope out of paper and the waterfall sleeve um, which only has four sheets in it but they're double sided so you can actually get you have eight pockets to put die cuts in um, so anyway mine has a belly band and I'll show you exactly how I cut this and everything um, we're going to use the We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope board so if you have one of those um, that would be really helpful if not I think this might be a little difficult to make without that so anyway this is the sample one I made it's just a sample um, so anyway I made a belly band for this one and it just slides right off so I'll show you exactly how I do this and then um, this is the envelope and I've cut two slits here and here so that I can put this part through here and the envelope is um, I think it's six by nine is the size of the envelope so let's see so yeah nine it's actually like six and a quarter by nine so not not too bad and then what comes out is you have this little piece of cardstock. I use this washi tape. I don't really like this washi tape. I've had it for a while, so it's kind of like not sticking anymore. Um, but so you definitely want to make sure that you have some good um, sticky washi tape, which I do have some now. So, but anyway, these are the pocket sleeves, and they come. Um, you can pick up the the photo books at like the Dollar Tree and just cut these out and. Um, it's really easy to do and so you want to cut make sure when you cut these that you cut them on the side that goes down the middle of the book and I didn't keep the book or I would show you what I'm talking about but um, this is actually the outside of the flap and so that's on the outside when you open up the envelope this is the part um, these two parts are together and they're stitched down the middle on this little strip of paper that's taped into the book so I just took all that apart cut them down the middle so that I still have this about an eighth of an inch between that line there um, the seal line and then the edge of the thing so each one of them is like that but you just flip them over and you can put die cuts in the front and the back and like I said this is um, big enough for four of these pages the one that um, Tamika makes is actually it's a it's longer so you can actually get five of these but um, for this particular one you only need four so anyway that just slides back into here this goes through my little slots like that and then the belly band oops, what did I do? Oops. okay so then the belly band just slides down over that kind of hides it and makes it look pretty. Now you can decorate these any way you want. <clears throat> I just made it simple for this tutorial, but um, you know you can add flowers. You can put uh, maybe coordinating paper like this paper down the center. Have some strips. So um, you know, and then I die cut out these little rectangles. Pop this one up on foam. But I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need your envelope punch board and you are going to need we're going to do it says six by eight and a half um, and I don't know if it's because of where the score line is but mine actually turned out to be six and a quarter by nine eleven and a half by eleven and a half inch of paper so just a 12 by 12 cut down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip in. Sorry, I sat on this earlier, so it's a little messed up. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so on this one it says for 11 and a half by 11 and a half for 6 by 8 and a half, you're going to start the first, um, you're going to put your paper edge on 4 and 7 eighths. So 
four and seven eighths is there. We're going to punch. And this is the only bummer. I don't have the big envelope punch board or it would have an arm that comes out. So what I had to do was I had to score it as far as I could score it. And then I took the paper out. Folded that over like that. And I just used my tool like that. So I get my score line so I can do my next punch. Um, and then you put it back in the machine on the punch board. You're going to punch and you're going to score. Now this one's easy because it will go all the way to the side. Again, we're going to turn it. We're going to punch it. We're going to score it as far as it'll go. I'm going to take that and just fold it over like that. And then just crease it. Alright. So no worries if you don't have the big punch board like I don't either. So you're going to punch that and you're going to score it just like that. So now you have your envelope. Um, if you want to, oh, if you want to, you can round the corners. Um, I just use this. Like that. All right, and that's gonna round those corners. Okay, and so here's the trick here. So what we want to do is we want to fold these over. And I'm just going to lightly, just lightly burnish. I'm just not going to even worry about it using the score tool. So, all right, so there's our envelope. Now we have to decide where we want our little slit. So what I did was I put this down, and I don't, I probably need a white pen because you can't really see that, but... What we're going to do is we're going to, actually, this is what I'm do. I'll use a white pen on this one. Um, I didn't think about that when I pulled out the, the darker paper. The, the lighter paper was easier. And hopefully this still works. They dry out if you don't use them, so... So what I did was I took my ruler like this and I just kind of knew that I wanted to cut from there over to there. I'm going to come down so that there's kind of a slit there. And then I'm going to cut from there, over to there, okay? And you can make this straight when you do your cutting. So what I did was, I took my the Our Memory Keepers um, cutting thing, cutting mat, and then I have the magnetic ruler that goes on there. So, let's see. I'm going to try to line that up so it's even. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, I can't even see the dots that I made. Okay, so, all right, I'm just going to put this back over, and it's there, I just can rarely see it. Alright, so we're going to put this down again. I'm going to try to line it up straight here. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to put this down and I'm going to cut my first line. So, there to 
to there. And even if your dots aren't straight, you can kind of use the the guide on the um, on your cutting board. So you're just going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut from that dot to the other dot. Okay, that's going to be your first slit. And then you're going to move your ruler over. And you don't have to do this. You can use Velcro um, if you want to make a closure, a little clasp closure with a string. Um, you can make one of those. I just, I really like this because it really held it together, held the envelope together. So, okay, just like that. That's your second one. Don't worry about if it's straight, I mean, you know, you don't want it drastically off, but it's, that's what your slits are going to look like. So when you put your envelope together, you're going to put that through there. And it's just going to rest in there, and that's going to help hold it together. Plus, you can have your belly band, so that's going to be um, double protection. And you can always, you know, if you want to make a belly band that goes this way to hold it together, that's fine. I made mine to go this way, just to give it a little bit more security. So on this one, all right, so what I did was, let's see, open this up, and I just used my... ATG gun. I'm going to put ATG tape on that side, and then I'm going to put it on this side. Alright, and then I'm just going to close my envelope. That's all you do there. Again, this works as a closure. And then, so what you're going to need is on the inside, you're going to need, you can do a little bit, you could do a six and a, six and a quarter by eight and a half, okay? What I did was, I did a six, I cut my cardstock for the inside down to six by six, however, um, I had to trim the pages for it because the pages were a little bit bigger than six. So I'm going to grab some cardstock. Hold on. That is going to fit um, right inside your envelope nicely. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our cardstock. Now you can, if you want to, um, cut this down a little bit and then put it on another piece of cardstock and have a little border like a mat. If you want, if you want to do that, you want this to be a little bit sturdier, but um, just for tutorial's sake, I'm going to show you what I did earlier. Now, I do have... And then you're going to have um, two strips of 12, 2 inch by 12 inch pieces of cardstock. And that's what we're going to make our belly band out of. Okay? So that's going to go there. And then these are the sheets that I was talking about. So we have one, two, three, and four. Okay? So this is what, what I did. So I made sure that I have the side with the biggest piece. And I'm just going to put it down on the cardstock. And I didn't do the other, another piece of cardstock just because um, I want to make sure 
that it's not too bulky in the envelope. But you're just going to take a piece of washi tape and put that down like that. And then you're going to take your next one, make sure that it, the big part, you know, the, the one eighth inch part is at the top and then your, your openings are on the side. And because I cut these down, uh, my trimmer actually like sealed it, but anyway, so it will be open. And then this one, because you want the waterfall, you want to make sure that they're wide enough apart that you can see it that there's four of them because of the size of this um, they're a little bit closer together just like that and you're just going to keep doing that until you get to the very last one And don't worry if you go off the edge because you can always trim that later. And I cannot believe I'm using my oh my gosh, my good sewing scissors for that. Oh, dummy. All right, and like I said, you want some pretty sticky washi tape. This is some good washi tape that I have on hand. So, all right, and then this one. I mean, I guess if you want. You could get five, but I think it's going to be really close. Just like that. Okay. And then you have your waterfall. So you can put all of your die cuts. in both sides of your pockets. And that's going to go on the inside of your envelope. So now what I did for the belly band here, what I did was um, I didn't use a score tool or anything. I just kind of eyeballed it. So I made sure that I wanted that to be centered over where I cut the slits. And then I just took it and make sure it's straight. Took it and kind of did that. Took this side just like that. Fold it over the edge. Wanted this to be straight, so. That. And then I took this one, put it on the front of my envelope, took this one, put it on the back, and then figured out where I needed to glue it. glue to fill my bottle and it was really running so um, I'm using art glitter glue which tends to be funky it's a little temperamental when it comes to the weather so anyway we're gonna cover that up we're gonna cover that up so I'm not too worried about it all right so there's the front and then on the back what I did was just give it a little bit stability, like there. Kind of marked it with a pen, or you can use a pencil so you can erase it. Mark it with a pen, like that. And then I just took my ATG gun, 
and I have paper that's long enough to cut into a strip, but I know a lot of people don't have that size, um, so I just wanted to show you how to do it with two strips, so you can do whatever, and you can use lace, you can use ribbon to make your belly band, like I said, you can close this envelope any way you see fit. Um, this is just what I chose to do. So, anyway, so I'm just going to line that up. Pencil mark that, and hopefully that will fit right over my envelope. And you might want to make that a little bit looser when you put your die cuts in. I actually made the other one based on um, what I had inside. So I had the die cuts in there and then I made my belly band. Alright, so there. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just glue that. Oh god, this glue is horrible. What is up with that? It's so watery. Alright, so bottle up because it's so watery. And I'm going to put that right here in the center. Like that. Okay. And then what I did was I took two, I, I have some thin cardstock that I got for really cheap and I don't like it because it's so thin but it's, I got it for five bucks. So what I did was I cut out two of these oval um, scalloped circles and then I just put one on top of the other to give it to make it a little bit more sturdy okay. try to line it up evenly just like that and that just makes it a little bit more sturdy. Um, and if you're wondering, the paper collection that I'm using is this paper collection, Simple Stories Florals, 12 by 12. Um, I do believe I got this at Hobby Lobby, so that's the paper collection that I used. And then, <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, and then I'm going to stamp. I've got some Gina K design. This one is Jelly Bean Green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I have this stamp set by Unity Stamp Company called Little Bloom and Owl. I'm going to use that sentiment, You Are Blooming Fantastic. I thought that was cute. So I'm going to ink this up. This isn't going to dry. I haven't stamped in a while. Alright. I'm going to just put that in the middle. And then we have You Are Blooming Fantastic. I'm going to wipe my stamp off. Okay. And then I'm going to take the ink pad and I'm just going to go around the edge of the scallop circle just to give it some color so it pops out a little bit more around the edge. And I am going to pop this up, so just some foam tape. Just like that. figure out how much I need here. Like that. I'm going to cut that in half. Put a little 
too long. So that's what scissors are for. And then put some on this side. That one's definitely too long. Okay. Cut the parcel in two. Alright, then we're going to mount this on the other scallop circle, the printed one. that on the inside and then I made a well I made a yellow bow and I lost my yellow bow so that's really oh okay so I'm just going to glue this hot glue this Here. Just like that. And then I'm going to take some gemstones. I think I'm going to do the turquoise ones. I'm going to do the turquoise ones. And please don't glove that on me. I'm going to put three little. stones on it. I like to put glue on my gemstones because I don't want them falling off, so you don't have to. These have sticky on them. I just prefer to do it this way. And that is your um, die cut envelope to send to your partner, swap partner, happy mail, whatever you want to do. So you're just going to slide the belly band off. might want to make that a little bit looser. So you're just going to open this up. Put your die cuts in your little sleeves. Slide that into your envelope. And then slide that through your holes. And hopefully my belly band will fit. I made it a little bit too tight, but that's why I said I'm the other belly band I actually made with the die cuts in the sliding little sleeves. So, and then you can just slide that down. And there's your envelope with your sleeves and your die cuts. So, anyway, that is my tutorial. Um, thanks for stopping by and watching. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you would like to be notified when I upload more vid videos, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to the next. The little bell icon to the next will actually let you know, um, I believe through email and then pop up on your phone that I've uploaded a new video. So thanks again for watching. I hope everyone has a blessed day tomorrow and we'll talk to you later.